Holiday. Oh, we're going to skip the ads, True Seeker. I don't even know if I need to do any more video, but, you know, that, that might communicate it clearly enough. But in case it's not already clear enough, let's just go through it with my little voice alongside. And um, again, February 10th, 1976, Gerald Ford, the same president who gave us the big clue about Kamala Harris, the first black female in the Oval Office, he declared Black History Month, and that was 46 years ago to the day of February 10th, 76 to 2022 is 46 years later. And back in his early days, he went by Snoop Doggy Dog, and then he shortened it up, kind of like how P. Diddy did, from Puff Daddy to P. Diddy to Diddy to whatever he is now. But anyway, Snoop Doggy Dog, 46 on the 46-year anniversary. Of course, his birth name is Calvin Broadus which is 210 when you run the alphabetic order in reverse. Here in the U.S., we write February 10th, 2 slash 10. And the other black man that got uh, big headlines on this same day, when you run the alphabetic order forwards, if I can figure out where to hit the cipher thing at, when you run the alphabetic order forwards, Benjamin David Simmons. I mean, Simmons alone is 102, like how the date can be written 10-2, but his full name, Benjamin David Simmons, 210. And to make no mistake about these things being a tribute to Gerald Ford declaring Black History Month on this day in 76, again, Ben Simmons is a 76er, and um, I mean, just look how perfect this is. Look at how perfect this is in the year of the Tiger. He's an LSU Tiger. His dad played for the Melbourne Tigers, but look at it. He played in 275 regular season games in his scripted 76ers career, which I guarantee was meant to be ended with the 76ers on this day and shipped off to the Nets. Let's not forget, he was picked number one overall Ben Simmons in New Jersey, where the draft was that year. The original home of the Nets, he got traded to the Nets. Nets equals 13. He gets shipped for Harden number 13. Remind me about what happened in 1776, back in the days of black slaves. Oh, that's right. The Illuminati was established with 13 families. But anyway, he played in 275 games, Ben Simmons. Philadelphia 76ers, 275. Gerald Rudolph Ford, that's President Ford, 275. He made it a federal thing. February 10th, 76, federal government, 275. And again, Ben Simmons is 25 years old, wearing the number 25. And this trade came 205 days after his birthday. Ford, 25, who changed his name to that when he was going to school in Michigan. You know, like... The Detroit Ford Motor Company. Anyhow, Snoop Dogg, you know, he reportedly bought Death Row the day prior, February 9th, 112 days after his birthday, and Snoop Dogg's 112, like Super Bowl's 112, and Death Row was established on the 56th day of the year, and now with 56-year-old Dr. Dre, he's performing in Super Bowl 56, unless they're going to kick him out over this sexual assault charge from a Jane Doe. I mean, God, this stuff's so obvious. Jane Doe from 20 years ago. It's probably a harder rhyme than anything on the last three Snoop albums. But anyway, 46 years to the day. And, you know, Jane Doe has the Gematria 54 like Jesuit order. They, they say it happened in May 2013. So that was 
well, it's coming up on the nine-year anniversary. Remember when you write out nine as a word, it equals 42. But the only two months that have Gematria 42 are February and May. And again, like we see here in the uh, the Steve Urkel episode, Family Matters, look how perfect this was. This was the 42nd episode where they got the N-word spray painted on the locker. It came out March 1st, the 60th day of the year, and it was titled Fight the Good Fight. Look at the N-word with the alphabetic order, it's 60, 60th day of the year. With numerology, it's 42, 42nd episode. And with the reverse alphabetic order, it's 102. And you know what? There's one more cipher we got to hit. There's one more cipher we got to hit. It's not up there. But the N-word's also got a 30 in it. And February 10th was 113 days after Snoop's birthday. That's the 30th prime number. You see how they did it? On 10 slash 2. But the, again, February, February and, and May are the only months with 42 gematria in the base ciphers. You can go through every month. You know what? Here, let's do it. It'll only take a second. January, in case you, in case you doubt it, January, February, March, make sure I spell my right. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And I mean, just scan it. Here, here's all the months right here. You can see the only 42s, February and May. So what do you know? In February Black History Month, a Jane Doe who said nine years ago got raped in May, or uh, sexually assaulted, I should say. It, it's, she didn't say she raped him, but or he raped her, but just sexual assault. And, and again, nine years ago. So, I mean, could it be any more obvious? We know the Jesuits are behind every last one of these sick rituals. Something, uh, something I want to point out about Snoop Dogg is on Google it says he's born in 1971, but it's highly unlikely he was born in 1971 since he has an album called Murder Was the Case that has his birthday on it, and the birth year is 1972. So when Snoop Dogg bought Death Row Records, he really bought it 112 days after his 49th birthday. And remember, when I first started this research, I didn't know reverse gematria, so I didn't know 131 or 32. All I would have saw was the 112 and 49, 112 days after his 49th birthday. Again, he's really 49 years old right now. We, we see what they're doing with changing birthdays. Just look at the cover of Murder Was the Case. It's got his birthday right on it, 1972. Look at it today on Google. It'll say he's born in 1971. So here, let me just show you. And again, that's that's why you can't just have your information in the digital age, because stuff can just change. You need stuff that's printed. Somebody's out there like, but what about the Mandela effect? My Bernstein Bears books are different now. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure about the whole Mandela effect thing. I know that my Murder Was the Case album still has 1972 on it, you know? So anyway, Snoop Dogg, he gets, for, you know, for the moment of glory he got in Black History Month, boom, right on the back of it, sexual assaults. And then his buddy Dave Chappelle, you know, he's the hero of Yellow Springs, synced up with R. Kelly being sent to prison, who, again, Dave Chappelle made the piss on you, spoof of R. Kelly. Don't you get it? Yellow Springs, piss on you. Or, or is it Yellow Stream? What's the name of the town again? Hold on, let me read the article. Is it Yellow Springs or Yellow Stream? I wrote the wrong thing in the headline. Okay, they can move forward with the plan in Yellow Springs. Okay, I got I to gotta fix the title real quick so more people find this post. Yellow Springs. But remember, remember, R. Kelly, he's got to go back before the judge on May 4th after getting, you know, determined guilty at age 54 on the day the Jesuits are recognized by Rome. And now we got the Jane Doe 54, you know what I mean? Just like Jesuit order. But now he's got to go back on 5-4, and from Dave Chappelle rescuing Yellow Streams, Ohio, it's 83 days before May 4th. R. Kelly's 83. And look at Yellow Streams, Ohio. You know? Or is it Yellow Springs? What's wrong with me? Is it Yellow Springs? Yellow Springs, Ohio. I can't keep it straight. Yellow Springs, Ohio. Which, again, is also 241, just like Dave Chappelle. If you missed my video on this yesterday, I mean, go back and watch it. You know, it fits right in there with the Jesuit school close by Xavier University. Anyway, the Jesuits, the Society of Jesus, are responsible for all these rituals. Again, they own these celebrities. They own our government. They own us, literally, until we break our chains. And um, again, we're, we're speaking their language on their calendar. But look how it is. You know, it's just so perfect. 
It's so perfect, these rituals. Snoop Dogg's mom died 112 days before the Super Bowl. Then he buys Death Row, established on the 56th day of the year, days before Super Bowl 56, so we're told. Again, he's a Jesuit pawn, so really they still own Death Row just like they always have. It's just, you know, you get some... uh, what do you call this? Empty symbolism? A black man coming up, owning the record label he started on? This is empty symbolism. Anyway, 112 days after the birthday, right before the Super Bowl, it's just so clear. Again, then, then the shaming on the anniversary of the creation of Black History Month, the same day they're trading Ben Simmons, whose name is 210, like Calvin Broadus, and the date can be written 2 slash 10 or 10 slash 2 like 102. I mean, just couldn't be any more obvious. Look how perfect Simmons is with slavery. Keep in mind, this happened on the 41st day of the year. 41's the 13th prime. They get number 13, Harden, in the trade. Harden was on his 169th day of his age, which has a square root of 13. Again, back in 76, back in slavery times, back when the Illuminati was established in that year with 13 families. Who's the Illuminati? The Jesuit cabal. Do you think they really disintegrated? Obviously not. And... um, Again, I mean, these rituals are everywhere. The Ahmaud Arbery thing that happened on the 54th day of the year. 102 days later, the headline comes out that his killers called him the N-word. And if you missed my work on the Ahmaud Arbery trial, the Kyle Rittenhouse trial, both going on at the same time, Wisconsin, Georgia, just like Hank Aaron, who started in Wisconsin, then went to Georgia with the Braves. Those trials started during the time of the World Series, all synced up with the number 54, the number of the Jesuits in baseball. And both huge 201 rituals, the biggest number of the Jesuits of all, the reflection of 102. If you missed all that, you got to go back and check it out. All of this is Jesuit theater. It's all mind control. It's all mockery by the numbers. And um, it couldn't be any more obvious. And and again, I mean, this right here, just this... uh, What what is the name? I can't can't keep the name of this, this town straight. Did I go back and write the title wrong again? Yellow Springs, Ohio. Did I fix it? I got it. Yellow Springs there, right? All right. right, Now it's fixed. Okay. And notice how urine and Yellow Springs are the exact same. 67, 68. I mean, just these people, man. These people. And somebody did some follow-up work on Yellow Springs and and the important history of that town. And uh, there's a lot more that can be said about this. But if you missed yesterday's video on this, go back and check it out. 90 days after the Superior General's birthday, piss on you, 90. It's all biblical. It's all biblical. Acts 7 6 about slavery. Black History Month in 76. Barack Obama, 76, the first black president. Again, these people. Mm. So. And, and by the way, with regards to um, the story about the Jane Doe filing the sexual assault lawsuit against Snoop Dogg. <laughs> A guy who has like a bunch of records and songs about sexually assaulting women, who who I don't think's ever had a case like this against him before. But um, again, it came 113 days after his birthday. We talked about it being the 30th prime, but remember in that special book, the Talmud, it's also the verse Baba Kama 113a about who can lie to who. And again, mainstream, dishonest, perverted, not true, not honest, not factual, disinfo, politics, perjury, fiction, bullshit, infidelity, divorce, sinister, erroneous, all 113. You know. Big number of deception, 113. Big number. Oh, if you don't know about Piltdown Man, you got to look up Piltdown Man. Mm. So, OJ Simpson, mm. Princess Diana, mm. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant's death, mm. Go on all day, true seeker. But uh, I got to take Sweet Lady for a little trip. She's got to do something. And uh, she asked if I'd give her a ride, so. Anyway, we'll leave it there for now. If you guys did miss the live stream I did on Snoop Dogg yesterday, you might enjoy that. We did uh, we did kind of the the big songs of Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre and Easy E and Nate Dogg's death and Easy E's death and just how it all comes together through the same number pattern, all pointing back to the Jesuits. That video got banned on YouTube yesterday, but it finally processed on BitChute. Ten hours of hard work finally paid off. They made me work for it. I had to upload it about 500 times, but it finally went through. It's right here. It's the one with, uh, oh, Calvin Broadus, 1972, back when he was Calvin Broadus, born in 72, before Google changed it to 71. But yeah, it's about a two-hour stream, a lot of information. Some of it's probably dubbed out because there was some editing and censorship going on, and the stream got paused a few times. But I still think the majority of the message is there. So 
That's on the BitChute channel. Just search Gematria Effect News or Zachary K. Hubbard. Should come up either way. Um, you know. It, it, I use my old photo on that one, the one that Sweet Lady took. Everyone accuses me of being in the Illuminati because of that photo. It's got the one eye symbolism. No, it doesn't. I'm wearing sunglasses and half the thing's faded out. But um, Sweet Lady took that picture. She thought it was cool. I thought it looked pretty cool at the time. That's a younger face of mine. That picture's from 2000. Like 12 or 13, so anyway, getting older. But um, yeah, we'll leave it there for now, True Seeker. Thanks for everyone who hits the like and the share. And uh, until next time.